so I just finished my online workout from the gym I go to. It was a pretty good workout. Hopefully I got some decent footage. I haven't been doing them online because I've been going to the 5.30 a.m. But I felt so awful yesterday. I was like, there's no way I can get up at 5 to work out at 5.30 tomorrow. You guys do like the workout videos and just to change it up, you know, I've been working out in the freezing cold and it's starting to weigh on me, but we're gonna keep pushing. Hopefully my little workout inspired you guys. It was a pretty good workout. There wasn't really any exercises I am not a fan of. They're all kind of exercises I do enjoy doing. I did have these nails on, so that was fun. I just glued them on. I figured since I'm working out from home tomorrow today and tomorrow's my actual rest day, it's good time to put on some glue nails. I also kind of just did it last night for some self care. And now I feel like I should probably do my measurements. Um, I haven't done them in months. I haven't done, done a lot of progress in months, but here's a little update. I've been doing a good job implementing like Brussels sprouts and just having more veggies, but I've also had more cheat days. Just like social things, it was hard to discipline myself to really stay away from it. I had a little more than I should have. And I was really sad about it. Like when I went to work out after I had eaten so badly, you know, the day before, I like was really like down on myself and just felt like I didn't even want to be there because I don't know about you guys, but when I eat like crap, my workouts are crap because your body isn't gonna wanna move. And you know, food is fuel. And when you put bad fuel, you don't move as well. So I just kind of try to remind myself of that, like eat healthy because you wanna be able to work out the way you want. And then I've just been emotional. I, I, I think it's the winter and just other things that made me feel down. So I've been like snacking at night. That's like my biggest weakness. Also, I think the biggest thing which I know I'm right now I'm just making a list of excuses, but I'm just being real and taking you along the journey and not gonna come here and be like, oh, I've been eating great. Like, obviously you can tell I haven't been eating great. I haven't went and got groceries cause I'm like waiting to get money. No binges, but just a little emotional eating and not disciplining myself when it comes to like hanging out with friends and family. So yeah, today on the agenda, we are gonna do our measurements. <sighs> but it's, it's needed, it must be done. But I definitely wanna keep doing once a week, uploading like a workout, and then maybe including the healthy food I ate that week, or just a little update. I don't, <clears throat> I weigh about the same. I weigh, my, I weigh myself on Sundays. I don't wanna like focus on, like I was doing weight loss Wednesdays, which was fun, but like a lot of people on YouTube say like, you're not gonna hold yourself accountable for strangers. And I definitely learned that three or four weeks in. And you feel like you're letting people down when really you gotta do it for yourself. When there is progress, I'll tell you. And when I'm struggling, I'll tell you. So let me know how you guys are doing on your goals. I also saw this video trending. A lot of influencers have been doing drinking a gallon of water a day for a week straight. I think that would be a good challenge because one, I need that much water. Maybe I should do that. How much water do you guys drink? Let me know. I think I'm just procrastinating doing my measurements now. It's, 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 it doesn't define us. The numbers don't define us whether we're good or bad. It's just a model of measurement and we can see where we progress from now on. So let's get this tape. All right, so today was like a strength day with my gym so I don't have like my best bra on. So my boob size is gonna like really de change depending on what I'm wearing. I have long nails, so it's kind of difficult. 45 on my belly button. That does not sound good. All right, let's do right underneath the boobs. This is hard with long nails. This is about 43 and a half, 47. Let's do booty, and we're gonna measure where like the biggest part of the butt is. I just did do some length stuff, so it might be extra plumpy. Dude, I'm like at 50. I don't ever remember hitting 50 for anything. Ah, uh, well, I don't mind a big booty, but I want everything to be smaller. And then we're gonna do the thigh. Okay, again, the biggest part of the thigh. It's like 20 and a half. Arms, 15 and a half. All right, so we did our measurements. Again, we're 
It's just a point of reference. It does not measure our worth. So now I'm going to have some protein. I'll take you guys with me. Please tell me I'm not the only one that gets under boob sweat. <laughs> I am a sweater for sure. This is the one I'm using right now. It's okay. I'm probably not going to repurchase it. So if you do have a recommend recommendation for proteins, let me know. Because I'm just trying to use this up. Like, it's definitely not my whoa favorite. And if you do see in the back, my kitchen is a mess. I'm going to load the dishes right after this, I promise. I used to have a mess like that all the time, but... One positive thing from being home all the time is I kind of learned how to be clean. I'm actually decluttering a lot of my stuff and like donating clothes just because I'm tired of like taking care of so much stuff. All right, we have half a banana, some raspberries. Raspberries will make any chocolate protein taste delicious. We are gonna spoil ourselves and have a little bit of peanut butter. Cause I feel like if I don't enjoy it, I'm gonna binge later. So just add one tablespoon of peanut butter, it'll be okay. At least for me. Cause I'm gonna end up binge eating and wanting to get freaking peanut butter donuts or something. You gotta enjoy your food. And baby steps, um, you know, you can't just dramatically change just cause it's a new year. But if you can change, like, just cause it's a new year, um, I give you all the kudos in the world, so. Yes. See, I did the mistake of putting the protein on the bottom. I, how many times have I made protein shakes and I still do it every time? My goodness, she is a thick one. Beautiful color. You guys, I just came up with a weekly video idea to have. We work out and then I show you a recipe every time. So I did work at a smoothie bar, if you didn't know that. So I know a lot of recipes for juices, bowls, and smoothies. So if you have a recommendation for smoothies, or request for smoothies, juices, or bowl, um, or a certain type of fruit, or one with protein, one with a lot of vitamin C. I do know a lot of recipes, so just let me know. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't think I have much else to say besides the workout and the update and the smoothie, which I think I'll do each week on Wednesdays because Fridays are like product reviews or maybe I should start doing like Monday fitness on Mondays and then self-love videos on Wednesday and then the product reviews on Friday. Let me know if you have a preference. I will really listen to you and I love it when you guys leave me comments. I seriously jump in, up and down like I'm in a candy store. So just thank you for being here. I hope you crush your goals. Let me know what you're focusing on. If there's something you're struggling with. You know, I just love to build a community of people that are here that never give up and just ready to improve their lives. So I will see you guys later. And oh, gotta take some pictures of this. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.